You're listening to the Doug Stanhope Podcast. Is it us? It is. Good afternoon, people. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, this is a very special podcast because uh, uh, I don't remember the last one. I guess the last one was Shady Dell. Yeah, Shady Dell, a week ago. Yeah, it seems like uh, after that whole 30-day thing, doing it once a week feels like, <laughs> oh, shit, we still do a podcast. <laughs> It it was uh it felt like I had uh forty hours in a day. Every single day I had so much stuff to do after we did thirty days or twenty. Yeah, you've been days so busy. Listen, if uh, if I didn't feel bad for you, we would have done eighteen podcasts on Sunday. <laughs> yeah, I had I'd... to force myself to stay away from the phone. I tripped. I tripped my balls off. I haven't tripped hard in a long time because I'm always afraid I got too much baggage and mm-hmm. I'll fixate on something negative. And no, I got no baggage. I went strong from two o'clock in the afternoon <laughs> till eight o'clock in the morning. I said, well, how about one more? Let's eat one more. Oh wow! And then we ate edibles late and cocktails and white Russians and fuck yeah. And I just I wanted a podcast so bad, but I why like, wouldn't you? No drunk dials, no high dials, <laughs> no Twitter. Let's just keep the fence. We had the fence open, so we'd venture out into the street, <laughs> maybe a, a, a half a block. Ugh. Small block. <laughs> I don't. I mean, I don't know why you felt like you couldn't yell over the fence like you do every day. Because you're always busy. Well, it, yeah. Oh, that was the day that you it, you were working on your new studio. So I thought I'm not hearing the usual saws and fucking <laughs> jackhammers I hear going on down there and yelling at Tracy and <laughs> the things that say. I thought maybe you're finally taking a day off. And I didn't want to bother you. And then I was paranoid that, because, yeah, I, I, I've been bringing too many people around. Uh, <laughs> like, uh, they hate me because I bring people over in quarantine. But I stay away from them. Yeah. Kind of. Stay out on the patio. Yeah. We you, didn't there, even come in the fun house. There's a social to... distancing kind mm-hmm. of uh, mm-hmm. uh, protocol brought, that yeah, you have. Yeah, brought our booze out to the patio. Sure. Uh, Can you say who was over? Yeah, Kristen Becker and her gal pal Katie. Mm-hmm. And uh, Mamu did come down, but she didn't stay for the trip in part. Uh, I, her and her son, Josh. Oh, oh, he was here. Yeah. He's a great kid. He's fucking funny. As was fuck he the kid. one that was at the, the place in Tucson where we did a podcast with Chad and Mamu when she talked about her uh, uh, I Discovered Dead Bodies podcast? Yeah, I, th- I think he was there. There like, was a... the only son that you've ever met. Oh, okay. Because he's got... Like two, right? In the Basset Hound. A daughter and a son. That a fucking hound. Basset Hound is fucking hilarious. Honey switch lathe? Yeah, it's like probably, I don't know, 75 pounds, but it's like a, <laughs> like eight inches off the floor. Yeah. Uh, like his ears, Tracy, I don't know. Have you, you've seen him before. He came and he's drinking out of the, the Henry's water dish and his, Ears are floating while he yeah they're, while he they're on the ground while he walks and I looked yeah. at him and I said I know how it feels <laughs> <laughs> can you pierce a dog's ears Ugh. I don't know we did yeah, a no, hidden, they're way more like, vascular bejeweled than ours. they have lots never of seen anyone them. like a crazy pet owner go no oh, he likes it veins going through them we, so. we, he's we, a fan we, we did a hidden camera that hidden camera show one of the pranks I don't think it ever made the air was Trying to get a, a a baby pierced in in odd places. Oh, not in the ears. Yeah, not in the ear. Like, why well, you do it to you do it to their ears? Why why, why can't yeah. you do a tongue piercing? <laughs> you can't do a look. A lot of like like uh, Christians, not Christians, Catholics. Uh, I know in L.A., Mexican uh, babies will be baptized and they'll already have their ears pierced. Oh, yeah. So yeah, it's, and that was when we were just doing eyeglass cam. Yeah. So that was Beware we, of Doug on Fox, right? Yeah, was yeah, it? late nineties. Yeah. Uh, but so we, we'd always try to get like whatever kind of prop that I could put in front of the eyeglass cam. So I'd have—I don't even know where we got a fucking baby, but I just <laughs> float the baby in the screenshot is just staring. Why, why can't? Me. Uh, why can't we get his nipples pierced? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I like that show. Yeah. That was funny. I think it's, uh, if there's a, if I can find it on YouTube, I'll put a link up because, uh, you, you were, you stood by that. It was just a, a bad timing issue. Yeah. Uh, Cause it was called, I, when it came out, it was shelved for like three years. Yeah. And then they brought it out after 9 11. We filmed it in the late 90s and it was after 9 11 that it came out. Cause I remember it was, uh, called Attack of the mm. Hidden Cameras. Yeah. Yep. And they had to change it to, Oh yeah. They scrapped it because of yeah, attack. attack was yeah. after nine eleven is too triggering. They didn't even have the word triggering back then, but yeah. that's what they were saying. Yeah, who's that guy that was on it with you? He was good. Guy with the glasses. Uh, uh fuck Mark the, Norman. Nor is that his name? Shit. He's trying uh, to give him credit. I thought you yeah, know his yeah. name. <laughs> Jeff Norman. Jeff Norman. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, he was on a couple. There, there was like hidden camera was. There was like a small like group of people that did like spy TV, and he was on that. I did an episode of that. I think that was Michael Ian Black that hosted that. What was spy TV? Was it like a like a Alan Funt Canon camera <laughs> yeah, show? Yeah, they're all they're all the same hidden camera oh. shows. And Practical Jokers are about the only original hidden camera show. The, oh yeah, the one yeah. that's on now. Yeah, that has an angle. I think reality TV kind of really took all of all of that gusto that the uh, those shows had because they just go right to people being idiots on camera, but, you know, <laughs> quote unquote unscripted, but it's all scripted to some degree. And and like you you were doing it in L.A. because you, you could film people without consent or something or did you have to get consent oh no i think you did have to get consent. oh yeah you have to get yeah. releases that's why and i'm that's why i love the jokers they don't do the reveals like most uh -huh. hidden camera shows uh -huh. at the end everyone comes out and they clap and oh, oh camera over here yeah, camera right there. right there and you were so good but that's <laughs> all to get them to sign the release yeah. quickly <laughs> oh you're a fucking star but L.A. was like, you find savvy people. No, you're going to have to pay me. Uh, you're going to have to talk yeah. to my agent. I'm SAG. Uh, I hated filming anything in L.A. They would say they're SAG, so they – Try to get – For a fucking yeah. prank show? Yeah. You fucking go to Minnesota. Oh, everyone's happy to yeah. be on TV. L.A., they're fucking cunts. <laughs> I remember the one where you had people you pretending you were uh, – in a wheelchair with had no feeling in your legs, and, <laughs> and you had, gave, the leg they gave luck. you a dollar, and then they took a steak knife and stabbed you in the leg, and you really let people stab that. Yeah, we had yeah. Really, really thick prosthetics, and then I had a, one of those uh, uh, steak forks, the two prong yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. And a guy got through it, and <laughs> fucking left a mark, and I'm like, all right, fuck this gag. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine. It's like. Especially in LA, a guy just like goes for your chest or something. <laughs> yeah, right. Legs only, legs only. <laughs> but the fact that someone would fucking actually think they're stabbing a fucking and not hold back, yeah. like he went like like he was gonna try yeah. to chop your All leg right, off. I'll do it. I get it. That's a full yeah. buck. If that was my real leg, that's bone. <laughs> <laughs> you would have broke the t the, the it's fork. Fucking amazing how like things you go. No one's gonna believe this, and everybody does. Yeah. Like this one's too fucking over the top. No one's gonna buy this. Yes, they will. <laughs> I, yeah, Every that, time you were, you were trying yeah. to mail a cat, <laughs> yeah, Oops, <shit. laughs> like a, a dead cat. My girlfriend wants her cat back. Now she's getting it. It's like a, a cat form wrapped in aluminum oh, yeah. foil, foil yeah. going to fucking mailboxes, etc. Trying to mail a dead cat to my ex girlfriend. Doggy sex change. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> doggy sex change. No, that's for we real. Right? I thought that was real. We did no. that in Alaska. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, that, oh, that fucking got, yeah. A lot of times we, we had the cops called on us a lot and it was usually <laughs> for the weakest ones. Uh, but that one, uh, yeah, this, uh, my brother's getting out of prison and I was watching his dog, but I ran it over in the driveway. So I found this dog that looks exactly like his dog, but this one's a male. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to get that operation. You can't do that to a dog. Uh, if you won't do it, I got a friend who's got tools. He fixed my carburetor, so I, I'm pretty sure he could handle this. But I, I <laughs> you can't do that. You... <laughs> <laughs> A lot of fun. 
Here's a glass to Richard Bain. Very funny comedian, Brendan Walsh's co-host on the world's greatest podcast. Is that the name of it? it? World, uh, uh, hold on, I just had it. World record podcast. Mm. Yeah. Yep, another suicide. What? 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 No, he committed suicide. What? You didn't know? No, that? we talked about it last night. I we was pretty here. drunk last night. Right, yeah, you're the one who told me I didn't need bleach in this last night. Yeah, and then you. I came up today and you said, well, did you bleach? Well, I want to make sure that you didn't use the bleach because if you did, then I would throw my hair. I'm keeping this. I, I got to have a name for it because it's not a mohawk. It just goes from my mm-hmm. bald spot to my forehead. Forehawk? Uh, forehawk. Forehawk, <laughs> yeah. I guess forehawk will work. Yeah. I think I might keep it. I don't know. I like it. I like it. Now I feel like one of the group. You, you all have dyed hair. You look a little yeah. uh, Travis Bickle. With it, that's not bad. That's who's, fine. Who's Travis Pickle? <coughs> a taxi. Oh, taxi driver. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, taxi's the show. Yeah, sorry, on TV. <laughs> oh, <laughs> guy, I did to deal with the cops with this fucking hair. As I get a pocket full of bail money right now, and I can't tell the story, but it wasn't me. It was a friend. <laughs> so, but do you think that's a problem? What this? Like talking to a cop with a no, it's with a not four a problem hawk? because they fucking called me and said, "Hang up, yeah, we'll wait for you to come yeah. get your car rather than tow it." I'm like, "All right, that's cool. It's a fucking cool town." Yeah, <laughs> and that was troopers. Yeah, it's not even locals. I know that was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Right, I can't. I don't know how much you want to dance around this. No, so no I can't. Yeah. I can't. I got nothing. But yeah. Uh, some people uh, went to jail. Some people went to mental institutions. Some people went to uh, rehab in the last 24 hours. Not here. Not all, uh, like, locals. You're talking about in the world? Fr- yeah, friends. <laughs> friends. I, I in getting, the universe? Yeah. Someone yes. went to rehab in the last 12 hours? That we know, <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, not, a, not everyone's handling this as well as we are. <laughs> Uh, and it's not Bingo, don't worry. Bingo's fine. She's recording a song over at her quiet house. Yeah, I heard uh, her talking to you about the – because I let her borrow the table from the, the store. And uh, then I found out she's using it to record, and those are the worst oh, tables no. to set equipment on because yeah, they transfer away. noise yeah. so well. But but then I, I heard her talking – comfort her over. Well, no, I, she she was talking – she's aware of that already. Yeah, Shawnee's so, over yeah. there with her right yeah, now. So. So he's the sound guy. Uh, but I've been talking to Bobby Caldwell. I don't know if you guys, uh, listeners, if you follow at notes from the pen or go to notes from the pen dot com as Bobby Caldwell. He's uh, in a Michigan prison where he told me that, uh, they, they, they had the National Guard come in and test everyone for antibodies and 90% of the prisoners have had that. 90? And he told, yeah, and he Jesus. said that, uh, most of the prisoners, if they had symptoms, would hide them. Yeah, because because they don't, they put them in uh, isolation. Solitary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, that that's a whole different level of. Uh, I'm really having a hard time with quarantine. <laughs> Walking around a fucking four by six foot cell. Uh, it, 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 it when I first heard that, it just does not make sense to me why you would make conditions worse for anyone who admitted that they had Sick. something that was going to infect 98% of the population yeah. in the, in the prison. Why that, why the, the punishment is that you go well, into, no, into the hole. I doubt, I doubt they're putting them in the hole. Well, like in, it would be under normal circumstances. Yeah, it's, it's, no it's not, outside it's not a thing where they're like, well, yeah, this is probably better for the, for everyone. It's like, I got it now. I'm going to keep quiet. And if you say anything, I'm going to slit your fucking throat. Cause I don't want to go where they're taking these people. Well, didn't it? Wait, did someone say that some of those people aren't coming back? He said they kind of get disappeared, disappeared like yeah. fucking you know, <laughs> the killing fields or <laughs> Cambodia, a, 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 an Alabama prison <laughs> or chain gang <laughs> in the fifties. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, yeah, he so he had it. Yeah, I talked to him like, like every couple of days now. It's fucking cool as shit. How, he's how a old great is he? Writer. I think he's thirty eight. He's been in jail. He was uh, he was uh, fucked up and on drugs and uh, tried to kill himself and misfired on the way to his head and shot his fucking killed his wife that was standing a few stairs above him saying, "Put down that gun, stop yeah. that." 
So yeah, he's been in since 2013, I guess, and he'll get out in 2025. He's a fucking great writer. Go to Notes from the Pen and do I does he get stuff on shit. Twitter? Yeah, yeah, he's on Twitter. Okay. His mother Mom runs his Twitter. Says, okay. And uh so she she, she types it in. <laughs> like 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 the clip that went out of my special. It's just a teaser clip, yeah. the making fun bit, but he goes, "Yeah, my mother sent me the clip." I go, "How do you get clips?" He goes, well, she she writes them out. Oh, it probably loses a little bit. In, in the, oh, I don't know. He's a pretty creative dude. <coughs> yeah, he, he is. And he knows your so voice. His mom's telling him the... But the, she's just like, transcribing it. Yeah, She's not it, doing the act. I think, <laughs> oh, okay, that's what I was understanding. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, I think he did uh, a little bit of stand-up early on in his life. Uh, and he says he's thinking about doing it in, the, in prison. They move him around. He's, he's in Michigan. Michigan's so fucked. I love Michigan. I love playing there, but it's just so fucked up. The fucking I don't know why I didn't even follow up on the fucking flooding and the dams bursting. Oh the mis- yeah, the uh the overflow of that one. Yeah, uh, you're fucking building a wall, but you're not building fucking bridges and dams. Infrastructure. Yeah. You, yeah. you feel good about that, you fucking idiots? Go fucking yeah, you go Go stomp on the Capitol again and go, how about uh, no wall, more fucking dams? My house is underwater and I can't work. I did, you, you, you saw the footage, right, of it, of it breaching and it just yeah. slowly just – and you're like, who would oh, no, ever live downstream from a fucking dam and get a good night's sleep? <laughs> I mean, really. I mean, I just uh, installed a hammock and Tracy and I were sitting in the hammock last night just chill, chilling. I go, I could never sleep overnight in a hammock. Because I always think I, I'm going to end up on the ground with the wind knocked out of me or something, you know? <laughs> but it's like, that's like, I, a, like a dam. It's always, it, it's just there, like the sword of Damocles over you. Like, when is this thing going to fucking fail? Oh, don't worry. The Army Corps of Engineers built this in 1958. <laughs> the New Deal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we didn't really need a dam, <laughs> but FDR. Man, well, we had, can you believe it? Work. Not one professional dam builder built this. <laughs> the whole, everyone who was unemployed came in. The whole town was unemployed. Yeah, it still smells like <laughs> soup from the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I went, uh, when I was fucking tripping after I left the ladies. Hello, bingo. I went down and fucking, uh, was in Valentina's hammock. Fucking, she's like, oh, you're tripping still? Look at the stars. And there's three shooting stars. I'm like, I'm sleeping out here. Yeah. And then I got cold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah was, uh, that's one thing about tripping is I get fucking temperature, temperature sensitive. Totally. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, yeah I don't want to get cold at all. Come on in, Bingy. We can, uh, we're about time to take a break so I can get another drink. All right. I'm feeling good after that, Trace. That was a good one. I, yeah. I need to get yeah. back up on step here. Gotcha. Yeah, I feel, I feel pretty strong. Not necessarily funny, but fuck you. <laughs> oh, I'll be back. I get, I get shit to talk about. Bye. Please hold. TheShadyDell.com. That is where you stay. If you come to Bisbee and you're staying at the Shady Dell and I'm in town, I will have a beer with you. I won't hang out that long. We're not going to be good friends. I don't want you to fucking tell me you're going to kill yourself. But if you're staying at the ShadyDell.com, vintage trailer park with all 50s, 60s trailers that we live a mile away from and we look for reasons to go stay there, come to the ShadyDell.com. Sponsored by... I might even come in and uh, clean your toilet. (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) Quickly about the uh, the special. Still, it's still not on fucking Amazon and iTunes. It is. This is the first time I've said this, which is important because even before it came out on Vimeo, the audio CD version came up on Amazon. And iTunes. So, but I haven't mentioned it because I want you to see the fucking video. But it is for sale on Amazon even before Vimeo. Well, some people like to listen to things on the way to work. Yeah, some people exactly. are working. But I didn't want to p- promote it. I'm saying it now because yeah. randomly it's been at number one almost in- solidly for a week without us ever telling you that. And that's fucking cool. <laughs> uh that's people getting on the mailing list too, because there was a there was a big push oh, on that. Yeah. yeah, but not on Amazon. No, I'm just saying. So it's been number yeah. one on Amazon, uh, and 
fucking Hennigan. He just keeps getting this. Sorry, we're experiencing delays. So I don't know what the fuck is going on with Amazon or if you can even contact them. Uh, Amazon is busy as fuck right now. I know. Not to mention every like I I have talked to Hennigan about this. Everyone you know, on that side of the production and putting everything out, they're running on their own time schedules. There's there's really it, it really put a, a a monkey wrench in the works all over for anything to to come out. I mean, you've got usually a team of people working on certain aspects of every production. I know, and people, you're asking me questions. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know. I I had to get someone to set up Louis C.K.'s special because it was not. I have a Netflix button, and I figured out how to use YouTube TV, so I'm pretty strong. I know how to do two things, but when you go, I have a Roku app for Vimeo, but it, I, like I don't know what a Roku is. I don't know if it's is that a machine. I, don't I see you start to explain I, it? I don't. shut myself down. Yeah, so. thank you. <laughs> so yeah, eventually it'll come out on the, the easy button you have for Amazon. Uh, I just don't know when. But uh, well, it's not like we're go- trying to to hold it back. Yeah, it's it's everything's ready to go. It's just yeah, something on you, that if, end hasn't yeah, clicked. If you want audio only, you're gonna miss all my fucking slapstick facial expressions and pratfalls. <laughs> <laughs> that was Plaza, man. That was a year ago. I know. It came yeah. out uh, right on time. <laughs> Looks current. <laughs> Memorial Day weekend. Mm-hmm. Sold out. Were you, you you saying it last week? It's like, <clears throat> wow, it's coming out on Memorial Day weekend. Around that time, people are going to think we just did this and I didn't and do I didn't one COVID joke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what were we just talking about? Tripping. I was going to get back into something. What did you just say? Are you going to talk about that? No. no. She, she came in. It was right before this. I said, no, but I wanted to talk about the special first. Now I don't know what the fuck oh, I was going to wow. say. Where's your notes? Do you have I, any notes? I, I I I had I had two notes. That's all I have. Nothing. I, I, we're, <laughs> we're we're gonna we're gonna go back into quarantine. Kind of starting today. What do you mean? We're gonna do another fourteen days because because it's convenient. Yeah. I like quarantine. When when I did the first 14-day quarantine starting March 20th, I was getting a lot of shit done. And then, all right, we'll have some people over from a distance, and Mishka played here. Then we went down, walked down to the party. Mike Montoya had a fucking block party. And, yeah, people weren't really social distancing there. So uh, <laughs> You don't even remember being there. <laughs> I didn't remember who I talked to. I said, uh, <laughs> you were sitting back door Mike. He's like, did you, uh, did you go over to that party last night across from your house? He goes, yeah, we talked for a long time. I was pretty fucked up. I think I was laying down with some strange dog or something. You were sitting on the, the edge of the bridge that goes from Ooh. one side of Black Knob to the other <laughs> to hear that you don't really remember talking to people and then I did, you were sitting on, on a 10 foot drop. I do remember I had, uh, Floyd, the antiques guy, you know, Floyd. Uh, we had the going away party for his asshole when he had colon cancer. Mm-hmm. That was a fun podcast. Uh, he gave us this uh, like 1920s cheerleader bullhorn oh, that you yeah. just shout through megaphone. megaphone. So yeah, I remember heckling the band with my megaphone, and then I then I thought maybe I'm being a dick, maybe I'm not <laughs> funny, and they, everyone hates me. And then they started singing a song about someone who's a dick, and I go, oh, they're playing this for, for you, <laughs> and I left sheepishly. <laughs> but yeah, I think I, I, I think another quarantine is, is is a good idea. Say no, no coming over. I'm getting shit done. Just don't know what I'm getting done. We're supposed to be recording the uh, the new book. Yeah. Did we tell him the one. title yet? No. Oh, mm. are you sure? Mm, I'm not sure. To my but recollection, yeah, we, have, a title. we have it. No, I think you were going to, and you decided not to because we're just going to wait. Hey, let me quickly do some. You said where you got it from. They're in front of me, so I'll do them. Uh, Annette, she's from Portland, and she keeps sending us like weird, cool cards and stuff. I don't know if she sent anything else. Uh, some guy from Maine. Is this the guy, David? 
Yeah, I saw you out front of my house, David, because I saw the main license plate and a running car. And I thought, <laughs> for forever. It's sitting out there forever. And I walked out. Like, I was walking down to Valentina's, and uh, their car is running, so I'm looking. Yeah. So they must have seen me. But he said uh, he left a, a, a bottle of Papa vodka handle and uh, some grapefruit juice. It said, uh, I was tempted to hop the gate. I did not want to risk being choke slammed by Chad Shank. <laughs> we enjoy this <laughs> bottle of premium spirits. Looking forward to seeing you at the Wilbur Theater. Yeah, I was out there. It was fucking, it was daytime. I was looking in the back of your car like, hello. And then when you didn't come out, I assumed you must be for seeing the other neighbors. I mean, there are other neighbors yes. that get visitors. That is, that is a, a very common trait that we can see on the cameras is that when someone comes in and they eventually, mm -hmm. if they end up coming into the fun house or something like that, we've been watching you since the first four times you pulled up, parked, <laughs> looked around like you were looking at a piece of paper to match an address and then you drove away and then you came back down the opposite way and then you paused. Drove slow by the mailbox. I mean, that's a, another common thing. Or someone said, "Yeah, I kind of picture. I didn't know this was such a dense neighborhood. It's a small neighborhood, but yeah, it's pretty fucking dense. It's a neighborhood. Yeah, there's, it's forty foot lots. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's what you just happen to have four lots. Yeah, it's a, there's only three streets we care about. Yeah, like that all sync up." Uh, but yeah, it's pretty, pretty fucking tiny. You know, last night when we were in the hammock, it was, uh, it was dark out and there was, At uh, night? yeah, <laughs> see coronavirus didn't fuck up everything. So we're sitting there and there's a, there's this, uh, uplighting on the trees and stuff. It looked really fucking beautiful. We're just sitting there and I'm going, man, this is, this is nice. And I realized, you know, ever since Ichabod died. There's a lot less barking in this neighborhood. Oh, no, but, no, but now we're fucking all these kids home. That well, yeah. Screaming kids oh my today. God. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my that God. went on forever. I couldn't tell if he were playing it, or exactly. if he's a That's fucking asshole. Yeah. But, yeah, yes. and you want to yell, shut the fuck up, but they'll hear you. No, they'll hear you like you're yelling in their yeah. ear. Yeah. Yeah, but, but I think they'll the, think the it's call their and... neighbor next door because Bingo <laughs> thought when she heard heard those fucking kids screaming the other day, she goes, "Do the Chaleys have kids?" Trial our house. Just yell, "Shut the fuck up!" and watch the Hatfields and McCoys yeah. start where they think it was their neighbor next door that's screaming at their child. I used to do that with the CB radio when I. When I lived out of my car, I had a CB radio because it's way better than a radar detector to ask fucking truckers if there's cops down mm -hmm. the, in front yeah. of you. And, and it's fun to fuck with them. But I <laughs> so, so hold on a second. You will tell – you will like identify that you're at mile marker six and you want to know if any – How about yeah. your southbound parking lot? How, how's it looking over your shoulder? Well, you got to smoke. You get the fucking uh, – You're looking over your shoulder? Stick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what would you, so, so here's the scene is you got the fucking, you know, uh, uh, whatever truck passing real slow in the fast lane in front of another truck. Yeah. And then you go, and then when he pulls in, you act like you're the other trucker he just <laughs> passed and go, yeah, why don't you cut it a little closer next time there, fucking parking lot? You almost ran me off the motherfucking road, you piece of shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> and get those two yeah, fighting. Yeah. What you, what's parking lot? It's uh, the car carrier. Oh, all right. Buster Brown. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, or was back in those days. Uh, I'm trying to remember the one my mother drove for. Uh, they're out of shock up your, your mom Dark, had, your mom, Dark Transit. Out your of mom had a, uh, a, a license. She could drive a, <laughs> fucking big rigs right yeah yeah she she did but once uh for how long uh for a while but i i realized she was just you know they'd let her drive on straight away yeah because when i drove across her, texas when i drove yeah. Her from yeah. Fucking yeah. 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 i do that i do the west texas no to east texas and i do uh east montana <laughs> To West Montana. Yeah, she ain't backing that up to a fucking loading dock. Because <laughs> when I drove her from Florida to L.A. Yeah. When she's moving, moving out around. There, yeah. Yeah, I had a U-Haul 
carrying, towing her car. And I don't know how to fucking back that yeah. shit up. Just getting into a, a hotel parking lot off the interstate. Or out, getting out getting of Getting out. Yeah. I'm like, well, you did this for a living. I can't do it. Ask that guy. You motherfucker. You 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 never drove a fucking <laughs> you didn't do anything. Did How did you? you get a fucking license to drive a Wait a minute. Someone who doesn't know how to back up the vehicle that they're screaming down the highway at 75 miles an hour with a fucking 45 foot load. It's it, 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 this is a, a Excuse me, can it's, you help me back me. up? Yeah, I did. I had to ask a fucking <laughs> truck driver in a fucking No, what did motel she do suit? when she got to the to the Destination? Well, I don't think she ever drove alone. I think it was always boyfriends. Oh. She had a lot of trucker boyfriends. <laughs> but it's a, a it's, it's a, 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 cause Bingo was just bringing this up. That old, when she was manic and fucking stole all those street signs. When Bingo was. Yeah. Like, you know how to use a wrench. It's one of those things where if you want to do it, you know how to do it. Yeah. But if you don't, ask that guy to do it for you. We could do a lot of shit that we hire a handyman to do yeah. if we had to or if we wanted to. But if my mother was, oh, I can't, I'm, I'm always tired and I, uh, my, uh, my lungs and, oh, but I brought her on that cruise ship. She could stay awake for fucking 28 hours <laughs> at a slot machine. She had all the energy in the world then. <laughs> fucking cunt. I can't imagine like the yard letting her back on property. Like they would, they would begrudgingly fucking get one guy who's on his break to fucking back up the rig. They'd unload the truck while the fucking foreman or the, the guy manager was calling the, the, the company going, never again. <laughs> yeah. She hauled fucking nuclear fucking warheads. Oh, Jesus. See, what? that's what I mean, man. Yeah. <laughs> God yeah, damn. somewhere around here in New Mexico or something. I well, remember I, I was in, in junior like high school and uh, got the postcard. We're hauling fucking nuclear warheads between Air Force bases. I don't think you're supposed to say that. And a on clearance. a postcard, to total zero privacy. <laughs> <laughs> she might as well have had a flag <laughs> flying from the smokestack <laughs> exhaust. <laughs> All right, David, thank you for that. Uh, Thanks for making fun. Love the new special. Bought it on Vimeo, but would love a DVD when they become available. Hope to see you in Boston, maybe Ireland this year. Robert. I don't know what he sent. Like, I'm not keeping good track. A few people sent me books. Someone sent me this weird book. It's American Green, The Obsessive Quest for the Perfect Lawn. Ah. It's about dudes who... uh, well, they're obsessive in their quest for a perfect I'd, lawn. I'd you sent that, that to a guy in the desert. Yeah. <laughs> Irony's funny. Someone sent me Jerry Seinfeld's sign language. But I did enjoy, I think I've said it, fucking Jerry Seinfeld special. Uh, I loved it. 20, was it 23 hours or something? What's it? Yeah, uh, uh, 23 hours to kill. Yeah. Uh, hang on, here's a, here's a note. It's just from Amazon. Oh, no, Thanks, that is Doug right. and the gang, for the new special and for being you in general. I appreciate all of your hard work. We've unmemorably met in DeKalb and Madison. Mishka crashed with me for a, for a show in Madison. Kyle Wallace. Thank you, Kyle. That's uh, the Jerry Seinfeld book. Yeah, and there's another Annette. Annette, she just sends weird shit. And she's got good handwriting. She, is she Portland? Yeah. yeah. Will you thank her for my shirt? Oh yeah, the uh, Annette. Thank you. Bingo wore your shirt. I don't. I forget what it said. We didn't get it. Something for freedom. It was. It was very cool. Look at this guy's handwriting. Oh wow. Brandon. That is old timey. Oh, yeah. Wow. L- look at that fucking perfect. That's cursive. And almost uh, calligraphy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Is it true that like kids can't read cursive? Nowadays, but he, yeah, they you don't teach that? it anymore. They don't teach it. Man. That's what I heard. I don't know how to write cursive. I couldn't really? spell my own name in oh my cursive. God. Nope. I was a champ in the fifth grade. Yeah, and I started printing later in school before I stopped. I've seen your signature. Grade. I know you don't know cursive. <laughs> don't know it at all. You know horizontal lines and how to make a D. Yeah, but this guy, <laughs> he, this guy's he his his 
his cursive is so fucking perfect. Yeah. But then he he spelled waste. I don't want to waste your time. W a i s t e. Ooh. That's not even any kind of waste. That's a new word. Yeah. You <laughs> combination. Yeah. <laughs> That uh, that that writing is so. It reminds me of my grandmother. My grandmother had like the fucking perfect, like flowery, like like she was a, uh, uh, like wrote the Declaration of Independence. Everything was like yeah. F's and S. Like everything was very flowery and everything like that. But like to look at it, you're like, God, it just makes my hand cramp looking at it. Because like, how do you get in and like take the time to write one word? I'd be finished with the note. When when I uh, when I was writing digging up mother, I had to go through all these old letters from my grandmother to my mother when my mother was a teenager, <laughs> yeah. and it was like I trying them. to you know, Dead Sea Scrolls. <laughs> yeah, like, what the <laughs> fuck? yeah. <laughs> Can someone translate this for me? <laughs> no, it it used to be English. Uh, I found a journal from the last time we did a book, the uh, reading, the Audible. I found a journal that I had just written three entries, and one of them was the second entry was uh was uh the second day of recording, <laughs> and how you 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 were getting surly, and I was like so hungover because after that first night with Bruce, we got fucking shit faced. The next day, I was so hungover. I was just I wrote down I was just trying not to fall asleep <laughs> while manning the recorder, <laughs> and at one point, you fucking I like like open eye snored and you stopped the take and, and I totally denied it. <laughs> but I had totally, I had nodded off with my eyes wide open like gay cousin Eric used to do. And I totally denied it. And then later on that, and I was, cause I was so hung over. It was, we didn't have AC in here. Nope. It was fucking so hot and we'd have to turn the AC off and you'd be smoking. So and then we'd go. And the only reason we would stop is because it was so smoky and hot. We had to stop. And that's what took so long to get it through it. But then at the end of that night, I think that night you got really shit faced and then you were really pissed off at me and Bruce thinking we were, we were letting you slide on a bunch of stuff. Like we were, we were letting you do takes. It was like, that's fine. That's fine. And we'd go on to the next one. And then you were like, so fucking surly about it. And then the next day you denied even having that argument. <laughs> and I'm reading that going like, how did we get a book done? <laughs> Well, this, yeah, this one I have. I know. I know it's audible, so I wrote it. Yeah, and and I've read it out loud, looking for the fuck ups and the flaws. So this is audible. First. You've read that like, at least four times, I think, all the way through I, that I know of. You've you've sat and read like big chunks of it, mm -hmm. and then gone back, written more, and then read like the whole thing through, start to finish. Yeah, I really want to get that out. Before the pandemic is over, because it's fucking good. It's close. We're the, almost there. Oh, I thought you meant close to good. <laughs> no, no, we're almost ready to record. We just, they're, just, yeah, yeah. they're just tying up the loose ends. Yeah, well, I, I, I did the lawyer notes, mm -hmm. which the last two books. Oh my god, <laughs> just a few things. And is this person still alive? Probably not. It was nineteen eighty five. And they were a random, you know, well, can you change their name? Can can you not call your stepsister a cunt without, a, like, just these Small, cares? tiny little detail, yeah. like a little texture for the story. Yeah, this one was it's not. Uh, will Chad and Joby mind if you call them partiers? Will, <laughs> wow. will, will Tracy and Chaley mind if you say they did coke with you? What? You, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, just so, can we capitalize the C on Coke to make it <laughs> <laughs> or a K? <laughs> K O K E. Can you say Pepsi instead of Coke? <laughs> Rails of Pepsi. Mm. <laughs> R C. R C Cola. Yeah, that's that's what we should call Bisbee Blow. <laughs> R yeah. R C Cola. Uh, fucking Erickson used to have a great bit about RC. Oh yeah, RC Cola. Jesus, that is forever ago. I know that's one of the first uh, runs. We're getting so old, and my skin is starting to match me. I'm so proud of my Corona tan, Ugh. and it's just making look. Uh, when you're 
of mushrooms, you were just in love with your skin. <laughs> I was, that was the thing. Like, I was always worried about fucking mushrooms and fixating on negative mm -hmm. shit. And I was like looking in mirrors and telling everyone how goddamn beautiful I am. You were looking at a mirror? <laughs> yeah, I was Whoa. loving mirrors. Wait, I where did you get a mirror? <laughs> you don't have any so in you your house. You have a bathroom to look at yourself? <laughs> Oh well, when I uh, when I went down to Valentina's, fucking Morgan Murphy has the whole oh, mirror the behind the bar. Oh, okay, yeah, I might have not been wearing my glasses. I'm not wearing them right now, and I'm just so used to everything being blurry when my contacts are fucked up that I forget. Oh, I don't, I don't have them you... in. So you still haven't put your contacts in since you got the wonky no, eyes? No, I'm, I'm ready. I'm. I think I'm ready to. Yeah. I think this fucking Chilean fucking burst the other night. Ugh. <sighs> Jesus. Too much mushrooms. <laughs> it's your fun meter. Yeah, I feel I feel fucking pretty good. I, you know, after the the twenty eight days blackout, there was a little bit of time where I was drinking a lot and just doing the podcast. You know, we got a little caught up. We did the Patreon, doing it with uh, issues with Andy, and now I'm starting. It's been. Well, fuck! It's the end of May. We're going into the third. <laughs> it's month. the end of May. And I'm just starting to, to work around the house and doing stuff that I've been wanting to do. These are the things I've been wanting to do every time we're on tour, near the end of the tour. And I'm like looking for <laughs> like, oh, it, huh? I can organize the downstairs. Oh, I can do this. And like now I'm starting to do that Fine, stuff. So it. hang the hammock. <laughs> that was a big cross off the list. Yeah, I pulled all the, the shit out of the crawl space, mostly luggage. So I had the, the fucking maid, the organizer. Uh, yeah, you can throw that stuff back in the crawl space. And uh, I go, don't worry, there's no creepy crawlies down there. It's cool. Uh oh, uh -oh. She just hear yeah. the word creepy, uh, like crawl space, and you think, oh. Yeah. Dead and bodies. Then, ah! Scorpion. Yeah. Chased her. <laughs> So yeah, we, we murdered a scorpion today. So I said, yeah, next on the next grocery store run for you, bug bombs for the crawl space. Does that do, does Fucking that get scorpions? Annihilate. Well, that's, it was in one of the bags I, I so. pulled out. Oh. So I don't know if it, cause they've been sitting out there for. I've seen two of the biggest scorpions this season, one of them last night mm -hmm. that I've ever seen here. And they, and one of them was in, in your our crawl space. No, no this was on the, on the patio down in front of the store. We've got a, uh, I put a bunch of leaves that I cut down for the mulberry tree and I let them sit there for a couple of days. And I was going to put them in the composter and I'm picking them up and just sh like shucking off the leaves and throwing the branches in a, in a can. And there is a fucking scorpion there that like, did, I moved, I've moved through the entire pile and this thing is still just sitting there like, I don't give a fuck. And I look at it, and I'm putting my hand down. When I realize what it is, it that was a big one, oh, and that the yeah. same size was in our uh, kitchen sink at the bottom. Well, <laughs> I was it was like like that big. The body was that big, right? Two uh, uh, inch and a half, two inches, right? Yep. Like like pulled out. So this, <clears throat> I had put my hand down and like filled up the sink. It was in there, <laughs> and I went and pulled the drain. And it was in the drain that I was holding in my hand, oh, and I realized what it was. I went, "Fuck!" <coughs> yeah, and those are the two of the biggest. Huh? <laughs> yeah, tofu crumbles. Off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I put him in the little cage and put him outside to see if he was okay because he wouldn't move at that point. He's not then, scared. But well, the whole time he was in the cage, I was like, oh, "He's dead now. He hasn't moved at all yeah. for like three hours." And so I dumped him out on the other side of the wall, and he just went bye and <laughs> scurried off. I'm like, "Wait, you don't kill her? I don't." God damn it, Tracy. <laughs> we have a spider living in our house. Always. Every by summer. the fucking couch where I sleep sometimes. And you sleep too, Tracy. And it's, I go, just get rid of it. She goes, I don't know how to get rid of it. I go, I know how to get rid of it. Fucking spray. Or you, you, you know, there's things you can do. There's things I'm going to do if you don't get rid of it. It's still fucking it's there. It's just a funnel web spider. But yeah, we've yeah, seen yeah. them walk across the floor. I've, 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 I've let spiders live. In the house, these well, guys kill black flies. That's great. Yeah, we also what, own screens. One a month. How many black <laughs> flies are there? A fucking billion. The spiders. Yeah. <laughs> one a month. <laughs> yeah, they don't. I appreciate that kind of work. If there was like, if a, a if a spider's web looked like the fly strip at a shitty diner in yeah. fucking you know <laughs> Lacrosse, Wisconsin, we'd all have pet spiders. Yeah, yeah. 
but they get, you know, maybe one. There's been more two. There's been two scorpions in the house. I haven't seen one fly this year. We've had flies in the house. No, definitely. Yeah, we've had flies. In the Those house. little ones are back. Tracy and I just uh, the little ones that get on the outside of the white cars. Oh, little tiny little ones. Nat- oh, yeah, oh, you have the white cars. There's yeah, so many of them. Fuck, this is so off topic, but I, I, there's an extra uh, the sun visor thing that was in the Mazda. Is there a car that needs one? Yes. All right, I was gonna chuck it over your the fence to you, but oh, I couldn't get your attention. Are you gonna get rid of my? You know why I line? couldn't get your attention? Why? Because I heard you listening to issues with Andy inside your house. It's true. You All do the time. it. You edit it, and then you listen yeah. to it. I don't edit. Uh, a guy named Todd. Whatever does it. you do, I listened to the last week's or uh, the last episode. Uh, issues why don't you with Andy. Learn how to hate your own voice like everybody else. Because I I actually really try to listen on that one, and uh, Andy dropped acid. <laughs> An hour before the podcast, he was tripping balls the whole fucking time, <laughs> and he was shooting a crossbow <laughs> on the deck. Is that on the one deck. you said you were going to yeah. send me and never did? No, you said I'm going to send you this Dropbox some some episode that you go, oh, you got to hear this, and you never did, and I really wanted. Oh, to which hear one it. was it? I don't know. How long, long ago was it? In the last yeah. several days. Oh, are. Are you, you not see, a Patreon member for Issues with Andy? I don't know how to do that. Oh, it doesn't, man, it doesn't, a, it doesn't sync up with my Roku it wouldn't, app. It wouldn't be right for me to just send you something. No idea. Oh, this is – we have a uh, – let's not do this. It's early. But we have uh, moonshine. I'm our, not drinking that. Our, our plumber gave us moonshine. Plumber? Yeah. Oh. What? I'm not going to say his name. Okay. Uh, um, he'd be proud if I, I did, but – yeah, the plumber uh, fixed all this shit over at the quiet house. I assume he his name is not Carlo Rossi, like it says on the label? No, no. I think that's a winery. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's it's a California. really bad wine. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, and it's only like a, a fucking inch deep in a giant uh, handle of a wine bottle. He goes, oh, this will get you fucked up three different times. We bottle it with the potency, <laughs> but not with the volume. He's like, it's, it's, uh, but it won't knock you out. It's like an upper... So don't drink too much and you know, be. So have you tried it, Bingo? No, but sure. I'm a little afraid. I'm not doing it. It's fucking early. The sun's still smell out. Smell it, Bingo. I don't want to get it fucked smells up. Smells terrible. It's, I smell it. Yeah. I thought it was like someone like made some cleaning fluid or something. And he had a name for it in Spanish, as though I'd recognize it. And it's not hey, Bingo. Let me, let, me, let me try it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not, like, oh, I got you the fucking whatever. Polke? No, no, it had a lot of syllables. <laughs> oh, wow. It smells like tequila, though. Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah, that's not That's a what I thing. thought it was when I smelled it. Man, that is crystal clear. I like tequila that tastes like nothing. Mm-hmm. Silver. Patron. Patron silver. Patron silver is, the, is oh. definitely the one. <laughs> yeah, unless you ask Shawnee. Who's, oh, no, that's not shit. You got to get this stuff. I think the stuff at the store that well, how doesn't we, make me puke. But who's an expert on what I like? Me. Yeah. Right? Did I see you? <laughs> no. Did I see you? No. Not enough syllables, Tracy. It doesn't tell my uh... It's a different plumber than who we normally use because yeah. I have the other plumber in my phone. It, it, did everything work Baganora? out over there at Hazard, yes. Bingo? Yes, that's yeah? it. Baganora. Bacanora. Bac- okay. Baganora? B-A-G? Bacanora, like cow, Baca. Or B-C? Bacanora. B-A-C? B-A-C-A. Oh, wow. Uh-huh. Bacanora. And it's fermented agave. That's why it smells like tea. Yeah. Okay. There you go. He worked it out to where the city paid for nearly everything. Thousands and thousands of dollars. Yeah. And we just had to pay for something. Probably shouldn't mention that on the... Okay, why don't you... No, <laughs> no, this, it was the <laughs> no, city's fault. He didn't... Yeah. Like, he, he worked out that it's the city's fault. Yeah. He wasn't mm-hmm. cheating the system. No, no. Yeah, so... Well, there's a, usually, there's a line of demarcation where the city pays for everything on this side, yeah. and you pay for everything on that side. Yeah, and then, like, the neighbor mm-hmm. behind the quiet house, his shit was going through our sewer, yeah. and the fucking... I had to put a baffle Two, in, and... There were three houses on one line. Wow. Yeah. It's yeah, Bisbee's so fucked up. Yeah. When they were looking for a new city manager, I almost tweeted it. <laughs> I could probably get a better one out of my fan base than you keep coming up with these Bloody fucking great. humps. Jesus from- Christ, man. I can- <laughs> Say, are we going to go all in uh, with the Ken Budge? Ken Budge, yeah. So yeah. I was going to get a banner to put across the funhouse. 
Yeah, yeah. The, the well, other we day, have a, one sign up. We had the one sign. We and get him over here. I walked out. Uh, I go, Tracy, what's that guy doing out front? Oh, sorry. I was just stirring it. But yeah, I'll have another drink. I thought you were uh, shaking. No, sorry. Uh, I don't think I've eaten today, but oh. I did get a whole Good hoard those. of groceries right now. So I get something to eat. So I go, there's someone slowing down and like looking at the haunted house. They're looking at the oh, facade. Oh, that's what I was going to tell you. Hang on. Save that. Yep. But uh, one of the times uh, Valentina had friends down from Tucson, we were walking our dogs together, and we did the loop in front of your place. And she goes, oh, that's a cute little house. I go, that's a facade. There's no house. This. She said, what, what? I'm like, look, there's no house. It's a haunted house. And then I had to explain the whole haunted house. We've had thing. people leave flyers in the door. Like they <laughs> would have yeah. Awesome. But I, I matched the, uh, the, uh, the roof tiles, the asphalt, to the same color as the shop. So it looks like the shop is the second story behind it. <laughs> oh, that's kind of fucking point great. Point of view. But uh, someone was slowing down. I'm like, what the fuck? What's going on? What's this guy doing? And I'm, now I'm just paranoid. Like someone's going to go, oh, you got a lot of brush and you got to... Weed eat your yard or something like that, right? Because it needs it. Because it needs it. And uh, I go up there. I go, hey, can I help you? And he goes, oh, just uh, take a picture of the sign. You appreciate this, like, on the fun house. The Ken Budge sign. It's, a, it's the closest thing to a billboard in Warren. Yeah. Is Ken Budge uh, for mayor on the top of the fun house. So, yeah, well, we, the, we'll get the, a big the banner the up there. story, and I don't remember it because inherently in the story, I wouldn't. But Ken Budge did one of our open mics at a party here once. <laughs> uh, yeah. That, I think, was just him. Just like, him? I think it was. Yeah, no, I think we had, was like there was other things going I'm sure Kenny rapped at some point. <laughs> I think it was a thing where people were going up. Uh, not a lot. I, yeah, I, I, I have no recollection, but we'll make him do it again. <laughs> <laughs> How about he just admit he did it? <laughs> He doesn't have to go up again. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, Ken Budge for mayor. Mm-hmm. We can get him on. Yeah, I'd love to have him on. The big car fuffle now is uh, uh, them doing a debate, him and the uh, mm-hmm. incumbent, yeah. David Smith. But, you know, it, Ken Ken is interesting. He's he's. I read it in the uh, Bisbee Observer, so I don't, I, I don't really understand like the whole thing, the the letter to the editor, about something the about about the debate yeah, about I how Ken that. Budge doesn't want to spend over five hundred dollars, which I think is interesting because I would, I would like to see what he what his stance is on that. I I, I couldn't understand it from the the, the yeah letter yeah the letter. I, I read that like to like to like only because he ha- if a guy who's running a like a low budget campaign, his signs are fucking way better than David yeah, Smith. Are. David Smith. It might as well be in crayon. It just doesn't look good. <laughs> and uh, Ken's are fucking great, man. Red, white, and blue, and they fucking stand out. A lot of contrast. Terrible colors. You, but that, but that's, that's what you're doing. David Smith, David Smith uh, remember uh, if you're old enough to remember, listener, when generic was just yeah. black and Slim white. Price. It just Slim said price. beer. Generic, yeah, yeah. Beer. I want to find those on beer. eBay. Is old beer cans that mm-hmm. were generic beer, and it just was a white can with. Fucking block black lettering. A, I think it was beer. blue and white. Was the was the in, in California? They had Slim Price, and it was uh, it was like a white can of beer that said beer in blue, and there was a a blue stripe around it. And that was it. Uh, was it Repo Man, where Emilio Estevez pulls out a can? It just says food on it. <laughs> he that starts eating right. it out of the fridge. That sounds about right. Yeah, I was gonna say I thought it was the dark backward. No. Adam Rifkin, by the way, fucking texted me nice. about the special. Uh, Didn't he come out to the comedy store? He came to the comedy store. Yeah, he directed The Dark Backward, one of the fucking most legendary, weird, darkest movies ever. You wouldn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> the queens we use will not excite you. But uh, yeah, that was cool. A lot of good feedback. Thank you very much. I need good feedback from that special. Hmm. I got some uh, Patreon and email questions. Mm-hmm. If you're into it, I'm into it. Okay. Dog food. Uh, despite the 30 day blackout being over, do you think you're going to continue actively avoiding the topic of the vid on the podcast? Personally, I appreciate the mostly vid free zone of the Doug Stanhope podcast. So I'm just interested to know your thoughts on that. 
Yeah, I, I've I've not been I, like I click on Newser, which is the pokiest fucking site. It's terrible. I'm it's an aggregate, a, a news aggregate. Yeah, and so you can click on the story. Their slogan is "Read less, no mm-hmm. more." Well, it's still fucking clickbait most of the time. This state just fucking banned that. Well, just put the fucking no. I'm reading more. You could put Nebraska. And I would read less than this state. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking it's so, uh, yeah, I'm not watching news. I watch the K Gun 9 morning news April when I wake up Madison. with April Madison at April Madison. Send her my love. Someone try to uh, see if Jeff Beamish is still up there. I, he moved to the Bay Area. <laughs> Tell him he- in this time of coronavirus, I really want to reach out and apologize for uh Ooh, he was men my defense. Favorite. Yeah. Yeah, maybe if Jeff Beamish and I <laughs> could come together and show unity, maybe then You gotta do a better market. Yeah. Come maybe, on. He's I know, in the Bay Area. But he would already the his entire channel, KVOA, they all blocked me because of our sky candy prank. <laughs> and I not yours. Killer termites. Yeah, the killer termites. But I want to, I want to, like, I don't want to die of the coronavirus thinking Jeff Beamish, a fantastic light bulb headed local weatherman, still hates me. <laughs> and maybe if we can reach across the aisle and become, uh, uh end this bipartisanship, <laughs> maybe the country can all start wearing masks. <laughs> Fucking heart. I'm not wearing a mask. This is America. Yeah, you okay. Is it that difficult to put on a fucking mask? Mm-hmm. I mean, I... Uh, ugh. Who cares? <laughs> Did you see Tate? It was all fucking bird cloud. She's like, ah, oh, it's a... She's, she's a, a virus denier. Yeah, but so what? So what if it's a fake? Put on a mask. Hey, now you don't have to brush your teeth. Put on a mask. <laughs> oh, that's the worst. <laughs> Even when I brush my teeth, it fucking fogs up my glasses. Yeah. yeah. You know, I got, I got these, uh, I, the mask I got looks, uh, very, uh, dystopian. <laughs> it's a uh, black, like a uh, meshed neoprene and everything. And I was, uh, go, went online to look at, they've been sold out forever. I bought it for woodworking. So I'm using it and uh, how do you wash this thing? Right. And they told me about like the, the, the vents that pour out your breath point down because my, my glasses never fog and I never knew why. I'm like these chumps with their foggy glasses. <laughs> these motherfuckers yeah. don't know. Yeah. They don't know what it's like. Stink doesn't make fog. That's it's true. The humidity yeah. and the temperature. Yeah. Yeah. I must have bad breath. No, no, oh. you just have hot breath because that's how, that's Humans. the temperature of breath. I never appreciated <laughs> the construction of my RZ mask until the COVID <laughs> when I had to figure out how to clean it because if it was just woodworking, I just, Never would clean it. <laughs> She's got the vid. Hey, that question was from Ewan. E W A N? Ewan? 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 Ewan like McGregor? Nanster N from Hawaii. We met her at the, uh, at the show at the, uh. In Hawaii? Yeah. At the. At the place? Was it? That we played? The Blue Hawaii? The, the Blue. The Blue. Blue Tropics? Note? Blue Note. Blue Note. Yeah. Uh, and I, I'm only reading this because I think it's a really good, uh, explanation about dying of a last breed best ever thank you for allowing us to order the dying of a last breed i just experienced the innocence of infancy the fragility of childhood the curious idiocracy of being a young adult the arbitrary ideologies of adulthood and the glamorous adventures of getting old all the while being haunted by my own smirking mortality who needs DMT when you have Doug Stanhope? Wow. I love that. I hope you put that on fucking Amazon. Yeah, I said we're going to use that definitely. to promote the fucking. T- yeah, put that on Amazon. Good. Now that I'm telling you that Amazon, the the the, audio. the audio is on Amazon, review it. Yeah, great. Fucking Dan Schlissel. What a fucking geek act. Are you trying to? He's like, oh, maybe we can. My artist, whatever. Maybe we can knock Doug Stanhope out of the number one spot. I'm like, come on, stop with the fucking. He's table. baiting you. I mean, yeah, why are you even baiting the even whoever? It. I'm not against his artist, but like, 
Yeah, I'm. I was fucking number one without a bullet, motherfucker. <laughs> without a bullet, I fired and not a shot to get people <laughs> to go to Amazon. And this guy, yeah, this guy was number one for like t- ten minutes. <laughs> I'm just saying, don't fucking start a fight when I, you know, I'm drinking at night on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got something from uh, George Lacey. And uh, he writes, Doug and Trailies, for all the shows I bootlegged over the years, I sent you some liquor. I hope it arrives. I used the Shady Dell's phone number. He ordered it from minibardelivery.com. And I even got the, uh, <clears throat> the order number or whatever, the, the identifier. And I can't figure out if it's gotten here, but, uh, Applejack. Oh, yeah. Did we get anything with Applejack? Mm-mm. Oh, but you know what it is. Yep. All right. No, I don't uh, think so. It's uh, Applejack is one of Jersey's two main import exports. It's either that or Taylor pork roll. Ooh, uh, and I instructed them to ring the cowbell. <laughs> and he gave us a, a Jersey Lighthouse drink <coughs> recipe. Um, it's pre- he goes, I'm not going to lie. It's pretty terrible. <laughs> <laughs> pork roll is better, but it's harder to ship. <laughs> Thank you, George. We're, we'll be on the lookout. <laughs> I have a, in front of me, it's been sitting up there on the shelf, is a, uh, from the Delta Sky Club. When I keep saying the only thing I miss is Safeway, (laughs) the other thing that I miss is the ability Mm. to just fuck off and fly anywhere I want and just leave myself in the rear view mirror. But, uh, I told Tracy, all right, you have to learn the fucking classic cocktail menu from the Delta Sky Club. Gin fizz. Yeah. Pair pushback Kentucky takeoff. I could make a Kentucky takeoff right now. Bullet rye, sweet vermouth, cinnamon bitters, and a lemon twist. I have all that. Uh-huh. Cinnamon though, like straight up. I, I'm not saying it would be good. <laughs> I'm just saying it's, cinnamon just doesn't mix well into stuff. I wonder if they mean like a yeah, it, of cinnamon. I, I, it seemed like you'd mix cinnamon and it was simple syrup or something to get it in the recipe, yeah, not just, cinnamon. It's like just a touch, yeah. just a garnish. Do you want one of these? No, I don't. Yeah. Uh, but I, I just want you to learn something <laughs> while will. your husband's doing all the work. <laughs> what? No, I didn't say that. <laughs> didn't say what? I didn't say nothing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah, the sun's shining. Am I fucking tan or not? Uh, I need to get some sun. Bingo was taking Polaroid pictures while I was tripping, and I didn't come out in any of them. Like, <laughs> Are you a vampire? What? Yeah. Kristen <laughs> Becker was right there, and there was no Doug Stanhope. <laughs> Maybe he sneezed. I was wearing felt- a white <laughs> t-shirt at first, and then I took it off. Like, I've been in the sun for fucking hours. You got sun, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I don't show up in fucking Polaroid. Tiny little Polaroids. I go, that's the only thing I can take for pictures. Grainy Polaroids yeah, from the little, 70s? And they're little like, tiny. They're little, like yeah. Yeah. thumbnail. Insta, Instapics or something? Whatever they are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah I, I, but that was early in my trip. I don't want to see a picture of myself. No. By the end, I, was, I wanted to see nothing but myself. <laughs> <laughs> More beers, more beers. <laughs> Sounds like you got an ecstasy version, like mixed with mushrooms. I think the fact that I wasn't freaking out about anything negative just made me completely positive. I'll stare right in a fucking wow. Room. That's crazy. I'm good. I got sh- I'm making shooting stars happen in a hammock. <laughs> I'm fucking destroying this. I am. Uh, you, uh, maybe we should do more mushrooms. <laughs> I think maybe. I am. I still, got, I still yeah. got some uh, edibles. Yeah, we should drive really fast around town. <laughs> I think Thursday we're going to go for a, a drive. Oh, do our, our eight-hour turnaround. Oops. Oh, the big Four one. out and back. Mm. I think we can get probably out somewhere at like Hatch, New Mexico. I don't think we can get there in four hours, no. Well, we can push it. Leave early. I'll show you the way to go through the globe. <laughs> Love Hatch. We did that once. Yeah. Globe like, is like four hours, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and you go through Wilcox and mm-hmm, up, mm-hmm. up through like Sunshine Acres yeah. or mm-hmm. some silly name. I remember finding a candy shop. Yeah, we haven't done one of those drives in a while. Well, we I mean, did just, the fucking you... America's Top 40 the second time that we've done it that where it sucked shit. Oh, it was 71. Me, yeah. 72 was bad. 71 of whatever last week was. Fucking the worst. The number one song is Joy to the World. <laughs> Which was my first 
45. I bought that <laughs> and only women bleed by Alice Cooper. My That's parents nice drove me. I mean, I was, we said, uh, six years, six or seven years old. I bought yeah. Joy to the World. <laughs> Alice Cooper, Only Women Bleed. Turns out, Alice Cooper, my first concert at the Greek uh, Theater. One of my, it was my first one in Vegas when I moved to Vegas when I was 18, 19, 19. Yeah, Alice Cooper and fucking Megadeth opened for him and I wanted to leave immediately. Oh. Were awful. <laughs> Ear bleeding. Megadeth opening for Alice Cooper. Yeah, that was, oh yeah, I remember looking through that. I was trying to find out when Jellyfish 86, played. 86, probably 87. Yeah, you can go. There's a, a a website I found where you can find out when bands played in certain, mm-hmm. especially mm-hmm. even like like supporting acts. You can get some of them. It's not it's it's hit or miss sometimes. But I was looking for my favorite band, Jellyfish, and trying to figure out when I actually saw them play. Two but songs. I, you know. Uh, all right. I feel good. I'm gonna go piss. I got two more questions. Yeah. Oh, good. Simon Marsh has a request. And the only reason I'm reading this is because you do get these. Hey, guys and gals. This is a more of a personal request for my sister because she's in the UK and I'm in fucking Russia. Oof. It's her birthday on the 27th of May. What is today? Oof. Oh, today's 26th. 26th. <laughs> so it'll come out tomorrow, right? Yep. Right on. And I need to get her a present. I f- smell a present coming on. All I have access to is Amazon and it's fucking lame sending her another box of useless shit like indoor fireworks and books she won't read. Indoor fireworks sounds fun. <laughs> that sounds like that's a made up no, thing though. Yeah, it sounds like remember Spark when wish. all you could get was yeah. like snakes? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love those worms. Yeah. yeah. This, yeah. Is a, this is a more boring version of that <laughs> because you couldn't do a snake indoors. Any firework is indoors if you don't own the house. If you fuck up. <laughs> if you if you're visiting. Yeah. I don't want your security deposit back. <laughs> I'd love it if Doug could record a personal message. I'll pay for it. I know how much how major celebrities like Doug and Andy, for example, <laughs> must get these requests on a regular basis. But if it's possible, I would be super grateful. What's her name? He didn't fucking Doug include say. her name. What Simon. Hey Simon's girlfriend. No, his sister. 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 Whatever. Does it say where they're from? She's well, no, UK. she's in the UK, he's in Russia, but it doesn't right. say where they're from. Okay, hey, Simon's sister, this is Doug Stanhope. Simon didn't include your name. Maybe he drinks like I do and can't remember it. So he just calls you babe or sugar or toots. <laughs> hey, lady. I wish I was with you for your birthday, but uh, I hate the UK almost as much as your brother hates Russia. I wish you could be here with me for quarantine. <laughs> I would do things to you on camera, and then I would send a video message to your brother in Russia <laughs> that would probably get him arrested. Please wash yourself. Happy birthday, Doug Stanhope. There you go. I recorded it. Oh, God. All right. Last question. The last one is not a question. It's our friend, uh, Kale Mathiasen. Kale! Oh, Kale. Kenny for, Kenny. Mayor. Kenny for mayor yes. of Bisbee. Well, he's got a ton of songs. Shit, we might maybe we, maybe we should run someone against Ken Budge and David A. Smith to pull votes. I think it's too late. I think you passed the signature part. Nah, it's never too late to lie. Right in, you can do right in. Yeah, yeah. Dave Rader was talking about doing it. Mm-hmm. He needs to be here longer. Yeah, but we could run him fake. Yeah, I don't know. Fake would ruin him actually doing it in five years, because <laughs> I think he could. Oh, yeah, he had some terrible ideas. Yeah. So maybe <laughs> We're all we for should, it. Maybe we should destroy his name for mayor, because when he's talking about doing it, I go, oh, I'm all, all, I'm all behind it. And then he had some ideas. I'm like, you can't. No. No, that's stupid. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, Kale has a new song out. Oh. Uh, you go to, uh, he's on YouTube. Uh, I think it's Kale's World Tour, K-A-L-L-E-S. World tour. Uh, he writes, uh, yeah, Doug, Stan Hope is an amazing stand up philosopher and just a gem. And, and one, one of his bits is a rant about how lazy songwriters are. So I thought, <laughs> let's make music out of his texts. No repetitions, just stand up rock. <laughs> and this is Kale, and we'll go out on this. Stand up is, rock. Uh, All right. him doing basically Doug's bits while he's playing live. All right. Yeah. 
I have had. Sorry, I had to take the top. That's all right. I can edit. I can tighten this up a little. No, no. I, I've had did a lot of people. You part of a piss and yeah, stop? I did part of a piss. Oh. You stop like a dog. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ! Like fucking... Looking for another tree. Yeah, I, I, I scraped the foam off of it. <laughs> <laughs> off of oh, like like a like a like in a, a pub. Yes. In the UK. It's Stellar Artois. <laughs> <laughs> do, wait, do you have a piss foam knife? <laughs> With your initials had, on it? I've had a few people uh, try to incorporate my lyrics. Usually it's like fucking... I remember that. Do you remember that someone fucking... did a 45 with the with a cartoon of you? 45. Yeah, but that, like, it's usually, I don't know, what, EDM or it's like shitty <laughs> fucking... Yeah, and then, they, then something that doesn't fit. It doesn't yeah. seem lyrical at all. Uh so, but I bet Callie could play. Oh, it it's, yeah, I've yeah. seen it. It's great. We'll play it on the on the out instead of our regular. Oh, did you talk about the the TikTok? What TikTok? Oh, the kids. That was dude. fantastic. Oh, TikTok shit, right. of my bits. That so, was hold on. Funny. Thank you, Kale. Love Thank it you, every Kale. time you fucking do this stuff. I love it. He was supposed to come out here. He was going to be in America in 2021. Yeah. And that's all blown apart now because he was going to be out here. He's going to do. And I said, you definitely can play here at the Funhouse. <laughs> Whenever you're rolling through, and I, I just assume that's all. I'd you know, love to have him and boshed. Sam Panther like on their drum oh my set. God, that just would doing be fucking, a fucking drum yeah. off. So fun. That would be awesome. Yeah. Someday. I want Neil Pert and Keith Moon. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I want the neighbor that's been playing drums <laughs> during yeah. the quarantine. Oh, across the, I think he's getting better. You don't. I think he is. There's a trombone or something, too. Yes, there is. Right. There's a woodwind lately. instrument or a brass it's, instrument. It's Yeah, it yeah. sounds like a trombone or, or a trumpet or... It's a... Bro-do-do. Bro-do-do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't All think... Right. I just got my... I just Wait, got my... do you... Do you... What you were going to do? What was I going to uh, do? No, we are just talking about the TikTok. It TikTok. Oh, yeah. No, there's someone tweeted a... A TikTok of a, a kid lip syncing my bits, and it was fucking hilarious. Like a nine year old, nine year old girl. Or yeah, something. yeah. It was she hilarious. had a tie on. It was good. Yeah, I'll get back to the Twitter soon enough, but uh, I had to take some time off while I was doing all that. You, you don't, you're not on TikTok, right? No. Yeah. No, I don't. But it, I saw the video, and it's funny. Yeah. I I thought the the follow up another kid did what she did poorly, and I was like. The balls of a nine or eight year old kid. I would never have the, like, to, to do that and to go, I'm putting this out to the world. I would not, uh, no, no confidence in that. Yeah. His, the, the second, and his the was kid, that. Like, he was, was like, a cutaway to his stuffed animals yeah, at one point that, that had weird. nothing to do with what he's saying. And it's like, it's, it's like, it's like me trying to like lip sync what you're going to say next, Tracy. There's just it's, no way. Brendan Walsh would go on YouTube videos of like a little kid <laughs> dancing and yeah. like just shit on him. Like that, that's that, that kid sucks. I can dance way better than that. <laughs> and then the other people are like, it's a fucking five-year-old kid. Why are you being a dick? I'm just way better than that, is all I'm saying. I can dance way <laughs> I fucking love Brendan Walsh. All right. Uh, thank you guys uh, for listening. Tune in next week when I have so much more to say. Oh, and uh, get on Patreon because we're, we're doing, at the $5 level and above, we're doing uh, a video podcast for the once a month bonus podcast. So... All That's right, coming and, up. Uh, take us out live, bingo. All right, okay. coronavirus. All right, bye bye now. Okay. Can we do that again? Yes, we can do I'm that. I'm not editing this. Right. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Okay, one, two, three, seven, twelve. Okay, bye bye now. <laughs> I'm coming off mushrooms. It's not, it's not great stuff here. I'm playing your trombone right now. All right. <laughs> Sometimes at that time I'll take two standings and two laxatives and I'll play chicken in my sleep. I play chicken in my sleep. I play chicken in my sleep. I play chicken in my sleep. I'll take two Xanax. 
legs and two legs tits. And I play chicken in my sleep. I play chicken in my sleep. I'm just trying to point out to you how lazy songwriters are. You overrated, do nothing. Over celebrated, you lazy motherfuckers. You have three minutes to fill in a song and you say the same shit. Here and every word has to be different. You know, your priest will tell you that abortion is wrong, cause your priest will also tell you that life begins at conception. But a priest will also tell you that it's okay to suck his dick when you are only 12. So maybe his timing is just off. I never had a bad day, then you create me. I come into this world the next I know I'm doing not with any dishes. I got chores and then do your homework again when your homework is done, your ground Suck you cunt that had me without my consent. I'm grounded, I'm 13 years old. You know what I could do. Could make a do too. I know your loss is 18, but they just said 13. I could crank out a dude just like you did. That didn't exist. Put him on your dime, and he's gonna have my workload. So contract that piece of shit out to the great leaks. But I didn't do that because I'm not. But if my parents were alive today, I would sue them into poverty. The judge were having me against my will. Eugenics was the practice of forced sterilization of undesirables, which sounds bad, and the way they did it was bad. First of all, the force is wrong. Don't force people to do things they don't want to do and be. Who decides who is undesirable? They were doing it in this country at the turn of the 20th century. The early 1900s to criminals and perverts, which is way too late. The mentally ill, the mentally retarded homosexuals, which makes perfect sense. We don't want them breeding all those queers running all up and down like gremlins. But if you took away the falls and just made it incentive based for people willing to sterilize themselves, offer up some white trash prices, you know, nice carpet pass, meet your favorite driver, all you gotta do is slip the sack. A year's supply of sunny delight, you want some sunny D, don't ya? All you gotta do is party up the fun, Still have two holes left to drink guys out of drinks at the bar. Wait, are you telling me if I cut my balls off, I'm going crossbow hunting with Ted Nugent? No, 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 so, so wait, you don't actually cut off your balls, we just make a small incision with a local anesthetic. Stop you, I want you to cut off my whole balls, I'm gonna hang them for a I'm going crossbow hunting with the newt. I never want nothing in my life.